Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here. Welcome back to another video for Monster Hunter World Iceborne. And in this one, I want to talk about AT Volcana because of course that is the other quest that went live today. If you caught my other video where I went over the uh, fun Fright Fest spooky quest, then basically there's a few different things you can do to grab some new armor. And if you want to check out that video, I'll link it down below. But on top of that, there is AT Volcana, which up until this point, or at least as far as we know, is the last Arc Tempered monster. I mean, I'd like to think there could be more, but from the roadmap, this is of course the last thing that we have actually dated. So with that being said, is it worth your time? Now I did kind of mention this in my previous video, but with Fatalis armor being out and Fatalis armor just being busted good, then you kind of don't really need anything else. But either way, I still like to cover the armor sets regardless, so let's do this. Now, Velcana armor has always been pretty cool because it does have a couple of rather interesting bonuses, and those are still present on the Gamma set. You have the two-piece set bonus, which again is critical element, which increases your elemental damage when landing critical hits. Keep in mind this is different to true critical element, but that is still the two-piece set bonus. And again, remember, you can mix and match Gamma pieces and Alpha and Beta pieces to still get the same result. On top of that, you have your four-piece set bonus, which is Frostcraft, which is just a skill that I really, really like. I kind of used it in one of the Greatsword sets before. It's just a lot of fun to mess around with. And this is, of course, the one where the aura builds when your weapon is sheathed, and then it raises your attack. And of course, for every hit, that buff wanes. So it's a pretty cool skill if you can make it work. On top of that, you also have Ice Attack level 6 on this. You have Coalescence level 3, which is very nice. I mean, Coalescence is a fantastic skill, and if you haven't been that lucky to get, say, Coalescence decorations, then uh, having 3 points on just the helmet is pretty good. I mean, even if you don't necessarily decide to go full-fledged Velcana, you could just take the helmet and whack it on the Fatalis set, and you've got a pretty compelling mixture. On top of that, you also have level 3 critical draw on the chest piece, you have level 3 recovery up on the gloves, level 3 focus on the waist, level 3 quick sheath split across the waist and the legs, you have level 3 peak performance on the legs, and you have resuscitate level 1 on the helmet. Now, the interesting thing about this, of course, is that some of those skills in and of themselves are skills that you would use in other sets. But the nice thing is that in the AT Velcana armor, a lot of those skills are just on one piece alone. So if you want level three coalescence, take the helmet. You want level three crit draw, take the chest piece. You want level three recovery up. I mean, okay, you would probably not take a chest piece for recovery up, let's be honest, because it's easy to gem in, but you get what I'm saying. The fact is that most of these skills, all bar say quick sheath, are confined to one standalone piece. So if you do think about it in combination with something like the Fatalis Arbor set, which obviously you only need four pieces for to get the set bonus, then you could quite easily just pick one of these pieces depending on what you want. You want peak performance? Grab those legs. You want some like focus? Grab the waist. You get the point. It's actually kind of cool. So while you might not necessarily be leaning too heavily into a four piece mix up with this set, I mean, unless of course you really want to double down on Frostcraft, in which case go wild, but some of the standalone pieces within this do make it worth your while. And that's kind of handy because if it so happens that, you know, you only really want one piece and you don't really want to be bothered with fighting AT Volcana, who is a bit of a pain, I'll be honest. There's a couple of new moves, a couple of those will uh, potentially one-shot you if you get caught by them. Basically just stay out the frost breath, then, uh, you know, you might not have to craft the whole thing. Of course, as is always the case, when it comes to gamma sets, you also have plenty of slots to work with, as you can see here on the side. Lots of things to gem in, but honestly, I think the kind of standout thing for the Velcana armor is just going to be those self-contained skills. The fact that you can grab one of those skills from a standalone piece and throw it into another set and have some pretty cool combinations. So, uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. It's a quick rundown on the Velcana armor set. Again, if you guys want to take a look at the other event quest armor, some of the stuff from the uh, festival, then check out the other video linked down below. And of course, keep it locked tomorrow for the uh, usual important event quest video to kind of recap everything you should be doing during this festival. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget, if you haven't already done so, you can join the Arax Gaming Discord. We've got an awesome community over there with so many different channels for you to chat loads of different topics and different games. I'm in there, the team's in there. If you guys want to chat with us, find people to play with, it's just in general a great place to be. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of our future uploads.